Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Sign in from Ben 10. Chapter 1. Night. An old motorhome was trudging through the woods toward the campground. Inside the RV, a sturdy old man wearing a flower-inch shirt with white hair, but still in good spirits, was driving. A little boy with brown hair and another little girl seemed to be arguing and bickering with each other. And sitting across from them. However, it was an Asian boy who was out of place, with a clearly mature temperament. He held his chin in his hand and looked at the woods outside the window, his thoughts flew far away. He is a transmigrator. By chance, I came to this world. She grew up without a parent or mother, and was able to grow up smoothly by relying on relief funds and occasional financial assistance for her relatives. And the relative who helped him was Grandpa Marco. Since I have seen, been 10 inches in my previous life. So Xiao Chen was very impressed with the name Mark. At first, Xiao Chen didn't believe that he came to the world of Ben Ten. It was not until this summer when Grandpa Marco invited him to travel with him and met Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen. This is the Ben Ten Inches world. This, full of alien monsters, all kinds of modified creatures, dangerous world of mad scientists. Don't look at the original Lishan Xiaoban all kinds of rescues, that is animation. In reality, who knows if something unexpected will happen. Unexpected things are going to happen. It will kill people. What's more, he is still a 10-year-old boy, and the only way out is to get the Omnitrix. No biological or mechanical transformation is realistic. Ding. Just when Xiao Chen was thinking wildly, a clear prompt sounded in his ear. Sign into the system to select a host. Confirm the selection, start loading. Successful loading. Congratulations to the host for getting the sign-in system. A series of mechanically synthesized sounds made Xiao Chen stunned for a moment, and the next second, his heart was filled with excitement. Is this the system that defies the sky in the online article? His plug-in has finally awakened. System, what function do you have? Can you sign in every day? Or can you receive a spree once a month? Xiao Chen asked in his heart with excitement. The sound of the system also sounded in his mind immediately. Ding! Host, this system can automatically search for nearby objects that can be checked in. As long as it is searched, it will prompt the host to complete the check-in and receive a check-in reward. The quality of the reward is divided into gold, purple, blue, green, white, from the highest quality to the lowest quality. It seems to be in order to confirm what the system said. When Xiao Chen looked at Tian Xiaoban inadvertently. Ding. Sign in object detected. Tian Xiaoban. Walk to him, tap him on the shoulder, and sign in. Come on. And on Tian Xiaoban's head, bursts of golden light suddenly appeared. Golden legend. Xiao Chen immediately walked to Tian Xiaoban's side, raised his hand and patted Tian Xiaoban's shoulder lightly. Xiao Chen, what's wrong? It's okay, Xiaoban, there was a fly on your shoulder just now, and I patted it off for you. Xiao Chen explained with a kind smile on his face. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get a golden reward, the specific coordinates of Omnitrix, and 100% bound host Xiao Chen. The specific coordinates of Omnitrix, and 100% bound. Xiao Chen was overjoyed as if he had been hit by a billion dollar jackpot. This golden reward is simply a blast. The strongest weapon in the universe, Omnitrix, is equivalent to directly recognizing him as the master. Open coordinates. Xiao Chen couldn't wait to speak to the system. In front of his eyes, a picture from the perspective of the universe appeared. A fireball like a small meteorite was hitting the surface of the earth. Just like the original book, it flew into the woods of the campsite. Tian Xiaoban and Xiao Wen naturally couldn't see this picture, only Xiao Chen could see it. Then wait, wait until you go to the campsite. Xiao Chen, who was in a good mood, also started chatting with Tian Xiaowen and Tian Xiaoban. They talked arrogantly, and it was easy to chat with them on the road. The sky gradually turned dark. The old broken car also slowly saw the campsite. The car just stopped. Xiao Chen immediately got up from his seat, trotted to the front of the car door, pulled the car door with one hand, and said, Grandpa, I have the habit of running at night. I'll go for a run in the woods first, and I'll be back soon. A. Mark put down the steering wheel, stopped the car, looked at Xiao Chen who ran out, and said loudly, don't run too far, Xiao Chen, and don't run too fast, be careful to fall. 
Got it. Grandpa. Xiao Chen's cry came from a distance and had already run far away. In the woods. With the help of positioning, Xiao Chen moved nimbly through the woods, constantly stepping on the branches on the ground, making a click sound. A trace of light suddenly illuminated the dark woods path ahead. Xiao Chen looked up and glanced. A red fireball like a meteor was falling at a high speed towards a place more than 100 meters in front of him at a speed visible to the naked eye. That, it is Omnitrix. Boom. Almost the next second after seeing the aircraft, the aircraft fell to an empty space in the distance. Suddenly, the fire soared into the sky, illuminating the entire forest. Xiao Feng raised his hand to cover his forehead, and when the light of the fire gradually faded, he quickly hurried towards the location of the big pit. When he approached the big pit, I saw that there was a circular aircraft with cracks everywhere under the Tionking like a meteorite. The aircraft turns on automatically. Inside lies a mysterious looking watch with a miraculous green glow. Omnitrix. Ben Ten Doginshi. I hope you can support me and finish writing the outline. Closing square bracket. Xiao Chen's breath became hot, looking at the Omnitrix, the palm of his right hand stretched out to that side. Call out. The Omnitrix opened violently and jumped high from the ground, like an intelligent being, and jumped straight onto Xiao Chen's wrist. A cold, strange feeling came from the wrist, and his wrist was instantly wrapped by the Omnitrix, as if it was glued to it. Can't you really fall off? Xiao Chen couldn't help but waved his right hand. The Omnitrix in his hand, the small broken watch, didn't shake at all, let alone fall off. It was obviously bound directly to it, but it didn't bring any discomfort to the wrist. Call. Xiao Chen took a deep breath and gently pressed the screen of the small broken watch. As a strange sound sounded, the screen of the small broken watch popped up instantly, and an alien pattern appeared on it. Xiao Chen clamped the pop-up screen between his fingers and turned it slightly to the side. The pattern changed instantly and turned into another alien. To be honest, as a Ben 10 fan, he even had the urge to transform into an alien hero when he saw the alien on the small broken watch with his own eyes. You can't just waste the ability to break the watch. It's still an emergency when you need to use it. Use it again. Xiao Chen suppressed the excitement in his heart and looked into the distance. You can't let Grandpa Marco and the others wait too long. Without pausing, he trotted directly towards the place where the old broken car stopped. Extraterrestrial. A huge spaceship is parked in the galaxy, like a galactic behemoth. In the hall, an octopus monster with a mutilated body, but a powerful deterrent, like a king, said angrily, the Omnitrix has now fallen to the earth. Now, immediately send a robot to search for the fall point of the Omnitrix. Yes, Lord Mohas. The nearby robots are all respectful, even if it is a seriously injured Mohas, they will not dare to resist. Shish. The spaceship launched three small machines and one large machine in a row, flying towards the Earth's atmosphere. If I can't get the Omnitrix, I will continue to increase my troops. Be sure to get the Omnitrix. Dot dot dot. Grandfather. When Xiao Chen returned to the campsite, the fire had already been raised, and Xiao Ben and Xiao Wen were sitting on the chairs on either side of the fire. Xiao Chen. Grandpa Marco got out of the old car, holding a bowl in his hands. Inside the bowl was a pile of squirming things that looked like maggots. Seeing this scene, Xiao Chen's scalp felt numb. Mark looked at the Omnitrix in Xiao Chen's hand and wondered, how did you get this watch? You haven't worn it before. Wow, what a cool watch, where did you buy it? Tian Xiaoban also noticed the Omnitrix and couldn't take his eyes off it. Speaking of which, you may not believe. Xiao Chen raised the Omnitrix on his wrist, his face full of helplessness. I found this watch in the woods, it jumped on my wrist inexplicably, and then I couldn't take it off. A watch that can't be removed. Is it true or false? Tian Xiaowen looked disbelieving, which was beyond her understanding. Mark and Tian Xiaoban also came over after hearing the words. Tian Xiaoban tentatively raised his hand, grabbed the edge of the Omnitrix, and pulled it out. His face was flushed, his palms hurt, and he couldn't hold the Omnitrix. Grandpa Mark also tried to tug on the Omnitrix, but it didn't work. Look, I didn't lie to you, this one really can't be taken off. Xiao Chen looked at the panting two and shrugged. A watch that can't be taken off. Tian Xiaowen finally believed it, and stared at Omnitrix dumbfounded. 
This watch is so cool. It must be some kind of high tech. Tian Xiaoban said excitedly. Speaking of which, when I picked up this watch, I picked it up in a pit. It jumped onto my hand and couldn't even pick it off. Xiao Chen pretended to be a memory and said. Big pit. Mark, Tian Xiaoban and the others looked at each other with a strong curiosity on their faces. Let's go, show us. Maybe it's really, high tech. Mark suddenly thought of a possibility, looked at the skyline drawn by the aircraft in the sky, and said solemnly. Come with me. Xiao Chen naturally agreed, and brought Grandpa Mark, Tian Xiaoban and the others to the big pit where the aircraft fell. When I saw the wreckage of the aircraft in the big pit with my own eyes. Tian Xiaoban looked surprised. It's so cool, this one is exactly the same as a UFO. That's what you mean, the aliens inside the UFO, but it's obviously just a watch. Tian Xiaowen's delicate face showed an expression of disapproval, and he was accustomed to seeing the opposite of Tian Xiaoban. I really guessed her right. Xiao Chen listened to the words of the two, and the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. You three, stay on top and don't move, I'll take a look in the afternoon. Grandpa Ma Kei told Xiao Chen and the others, jumped into the big pit, and went to the wreckage of the aircraft to investigate. But he didn't find it. The land beside him is shedding little by little. Wait a minute, it seems, there's something. Xiao Chen suddenly became alert, protecting Tian Xiaowen with his left hand, and gently retreating Tian Xiaoban with his right hand, looking closely into the distance. The ground seemed to vibrate a little too. What's wrong? Tian Xiaoban looked puzzled. Just as he was about to say something, his pupils shrank suddenly. Because. Forest in the distance. A large robot, covering a piece of forest, is slowly walking towards everyone. That is definitely the monster robot he can only see in science fiction movies. Everyone run. Xiao Chen was the first to react, and he hurriedly shouted at the two beside him. Far away. The huge robot with four horns like a spider on its lower body and a body of more than 10 meters in length was crushing the trees in front of it and walking towards the few people, apparently finding them. Good. Although Tian Xiaoban's reaction was slow, he was a boy and fled to the campsite first. But Tian Xiaowen's little pretty face was full of fear, stunned in place. Before she could think about it, Xiao Chen reached out without hesitation, grabbed Tian Xiaowen's wrist with one hand and before she could react, he took her out and ran out. Thanks. Only then did Tian Xiaowen react, his face flushed, and he said in a low voice. Grandpa Marco looks old, but his limbs are very strong, he quickly turned out of the big hole, and ran to the front of the three people in an instant. It's not bad. Xiao Chen regularly exercises properly, and his physical strength is very sufficient. Even if he is pulling Xiaowen, he can follow Mark and Tian Xiaoban closely. Bang bang bang. It's just that the speed of the large robot is really fast. It stretched four legs and broke through countless trees along the way. The red mechanical eyes stared at the direction of the four people's escape, constantly narrowing the gap. I remember it was supposed to be a small robot in the original book. Sure enough, because of my arrival, have some small details been slightly changed. Xiao Chen was running and thinking, he still caused the butterfly effect, although the effect was not very big. The large robot behind it slowly raised the palm of its right hand. There was a large circular mouth in the palm, and a faint red light flickered. Next moment, a scorching red light cut through the silent night, and instantly fell in front of Xiao Chen, Mark and the others. Boom! After the red light fell on the jungle, it instantly caused a huge explosion. The firelight devoured most of the forest immediately. The huge impact made Xiao Chen's footsteps a little unsteady. The four of them were all shocked and looked at the bombed forest in front of them in disbelief. The palm of the large robot was still smoking gunpowder, and its expression was still so cold and ruthless. With the help of the robot's perspective, Mohas gave him an order, kill those four earthlings and take back the Omnitrix. Come on, don't stand still. Mark was the first to react, and hurriedly reminded Xiao Chen and the others who were still in a daze. No, I'm going to transform right away, or we'll all be screwed. Xiao Chen's eyes became firm, he instantly let go of Tian Xiaowen's small hand and ran in the direction of the large robot. Xiao Chen, what are you doing? Seeing this scene, Mark was anxious and shouted Xiao Chen's name loudly. 
Xiao Chen didn't turn his head back, his tone was firm and firm. Grandpa, Xiao Ban, and Xiao Wen, this robot must have come for the watch in my hand, I'll lure him away, you guys, go. This moment, Mark's eyes were a little wet, and for the first time he felt that he was not as good as a child. As for Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban, the two were even more moved, and tears were about to fall. This distant relative who only met once left an indelible impression on their hearts. Boom. The sad scene ended when Xiao Chen, accidentally, fell to the ground. His Omnitrix, by coincidence, just hit the ground, and the screen bounced straight away. At the same time, the large robot recognized the Omnitrix in Xiao Chen's hand, and without hesitation, aimed the palm cannon at Xiao Chen, and it began to flash red light. Xiao Chen. Mark and Tian Xiao Wen shouted in unison, and Tian Xiao Ban wanted to rush over to help Xiao Chen, but was stopped by Mark. Call out. Because of the large robot, a red light was emitted again, hitting Xiao Chen's location. What is this pop-up screen? Xiao Chen was so nervous in his heart that he could even feel the heat behind him getting heavier and heavier. After a speech without acting skills, his palm slapped heavily on the screen that popped up. He just took a photo of the Omnitrix button, and the red light also fell on him. The small area was instantly flattened. The terrifying fire completely covered Xiao Chen's body, as if it was going to burn him. There's no scum left. Xiao Chen. Grandpa is sorry for you. Mark's mood fell to the bottom in an instant, and he wanted to die. If it wasn't for his suggestion to come to the summer camp, Xiao Chen wouldn't die at all. How so? Tian Xiao Wen also looked unacceptable. She was quite fond of this boy who had helped her. The target has been eliminated. The large robot didn't think Xiao Chen could survive either, so it stepped up and walked towards the explosion area, completely ignoring Mark and the others. The three were immersed in sadness and fear, their bodies completely froze, and they could only watch the large robot getting closer and closer. Who told you that? I'm dead. Suddenly, a calm voice came from the explosion area, which was completely different from Xiao Chen's voice, but the tone was quite similar. What happened? Mark, Tian Xiao Wen, and Tian Xiao Ban were startled with expressions on their faces, and they all looked at the explosion area. Boom. A fiery red figure broke through the smoke and landed next to Mark like a meteor. He has the height of an adult, his body is burning with raging fire, his skin is fiery red, like pieces of fiery red rocks, and he is watching the large robot with vigilance. Flame Man. You, could it be Xiao Chen? Mark looked at the Flame Man in front of him, and even though he knew the idea was out of the blue, he still asked. Yes, Grandpa, I just pressed the button of this watch, and it turned into this. The Flame Man nodded slowly and admitted his identity. His expression was still distracted and lingering. If he transformed just a second later, the scorching fire would only make him die. Cool, you can actually become an alien. Tian Xiaoban said excitedly, with a look of admiration. It's fine. Tian Xiaowen breathed a sigh of relief. You all hide, I'll deal with this big guy. The flame man stared at the large robot in front of his eyes, clenched his palms tightly, and instantly ignited two fires. Seeing this, Mark, Tian Xiaowen and the others quickly hid in the woods behind, watching the battle from a distance. Ding. Signable object detected. Mojath's large robot. Attack it and sign in. Sign in reward. Mojus's robot, as expected, is here to give me experience packs. There was a hint of joy in the eyes of the flame man, and his fist slammed towards the large robot in front of him, and the two fires in his hands were instantly released, like two red shock waves. Kill the alien that this guy turned into. Mojath gave the order again. The large robot raised its alloy arms and blocked it in front. Two groups of fierce fires smashed under its alloy protection, causing a violent explosion with a bang, causing huge smoke. However, as the smoke was blown away by the wind, the unscathed arms of the large robot appeared in front of the flame man. This result was expected by the flame man. After all, he just tried it out, mainly to complete the sign-in task. Ding! Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the blue reward. All the tricks from the world of, One Piece, Fire Fist Ace. The reward this time is actually all the tricks of Fire Fist Ace. A wave of brain memory, and even muscle memory, poured into the body of the flame man, 
His eyes closed slightly, and then opened again, it was already extremely sharp, and the momentum changed, it was like a different person. All the tricks of Fire Fist Ace are mastered. For some reason, the large robot suddenly felt the greatest sense of danger on the Flame Man. Come and try, new tricks. The Flame Man waved his right arm and condensed a huge flame. The shape of the flame was like a fire fist, and it had a very terrifying temperature. Fire punch. He let out a low voice, waved his fire fist, and slammed into the giant robot. Everywhere he went, there was a prairie fire. See this scene. Mark was shocked. How did Xiao Chen's tricks become so powerful all of a sudden? The large robot clenched its right fist without hesitation, and the huge alloy fist, the same size as the fire fist, smashed towards the incoming fire fist. Exactly, it's a duel between two. Boom. At the moment when the fire fist and the alloy touch. A violent fire lit up the entire night sky. That fire fist is like an indestructible magma, and it smashes the alloy fist instantly, just like smashing a mass of tofu. Even the entire arm of the large robot was instantly smashed by the fire fist. Not only that, the fire fist also flew high into the sky and exploded, like a gorgeous fireworks. This terrifying power, instantly shocked everyone present. This, this earth child, he has only just obtained Omnitrix, but he is already so powerful. Mohas, who has been controlling robots remotely, was completely shocked by the picture displayed on the screen in the hall. It shattered the arm of a large robot with one punch. How terrifyingly destructive is this? Impressive. This power is too terrifying. Mark, Tian Xiaowen, and Tian Xiaoban, all three of them were dumbfounded, looking at the flame man in the distance. Even the flame man himself was frightened by this terrifying power. Have you become so strong? In an instant, his self-confidence exploded. Then, let's try another trick. The flame man's eyes narrowed slightly, showing a confident expression on his chest. His palms were raised and fully unfolded. The palms were aimed at the large robot, releasing wisps of fireworks like a little starlight, and they all floated to the side of the large robot. Are these little flames for fun? Obviously, neither a large robot with a certain intelligence nor a Mohas who watched from a distance did not take this flame seriously. Until the next second, fire Dharma, with a low roar from the flame man. Bang bang bang, a series of bombing sounds sounded like crazy bombing. The flames around the large robot's body began to explode violently. In an instant, its entire body was affected by a terrifying explosion. The small flames actually caused a power like a cannonball. A large robot that would have been intact. Under one stroke of fire body dharma, the body was bombed with broken parts all over the body. Almost none of the parts were intact, and half of the head was lost. The last trick, solve you. The flame man's palms were aimed at the sky, and the flames all over his body began to rapidly gather in the air, condensing a huge circle of fire like a circle. Flame ring pillar of fire. In the huge circle of fire, a huge flame penetrated, and the violent flame was like a shock wave. It erupted with a bang, and tilted towards the large robot, like a hot wave. This moment, the whole forest is illuminated by that fire. I didn't expect, Xiao Chen actually has such a terrifying ability. Mark's face was shocked. In fact, he already knew what Omnitrix was, and it was just a disguise before. He never thought about it. A child who just got Omnitrix, can make Flame Man so outrageous. Is this the Flame Man? It's the Fire God. Although Mohas doesn't know how powerful this move is, the impact of the picture alone is powerful enough. When the body of a large robot is consumed by a terrible fire. Its entire alloy body was burned into dregs in an instant, leaving only the hot air and sparks all over the ground. Blaze, end this battle perfectly. Now. Let's deal with the forest fire again. The flame man raised his palm lightly and rotated it slightly. Under his control, the flames burning in the forest were surprisingly obedient, and instantly moved closer to him and condensed into his body. Terrible fire control ability. This is the Hall of Mohas. Seeing that the large robot was destroyed to the point of scum, until the screen in the entire hall went black, they also realized that the robot was destroyed. Silence. Deathly silence. This kid, he just got the Omnitrix, how can he be so powerful? 
Mojus's face was ashen, and the most proud thing he couldn't bear was that his talent for Omnitrix might not be as good as this Earth kid. Lord Mohes, what should I do? Are you still sending robots? Several mechanical hands lowered their heads tremblingly and asked. Go on, send out all the robots of the spaceship at one time, and be sure to capture this human child for me. He must be useful. Pressure. It, for the first time, was a little jealous of others. Here, the flame man has just come out of control of the fire. Bye, bye, bye. With a peculiar sound, the Omnitrix pattern on the flame man's chest continued to flicker, and then, a green light appeared all over his body. After the light dissipated, it was Xiao Chen who appeared in front of everyone again. He covered his chest with his palm, his face full of amazement, as if he was still reminiscing about the strange state just now, the Omnitrix pattern in his hand changed from green to red. Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban just wanted to say something. If you have anything to say, go back and talk about it, it's not safe here. Mark looked up at the sky, then at the red Omnitrix, and said decisively. Grandpa is right. Xiao Chen's face also became serious, and he subconsciously held Tian Xiao Wen's little hand, trying to hold her back to the campsite. Tian Xiao Wen's face instantly turned red, looking at Xiao Chen who was quite handsome, she was shy and whispered, I'll go by myself. Tian Xiao Ban was stunned when he saw it. Xiao Wen has never said such gentle words to him. I'm sorry. Xiao Chen hurriedly released Tian Xiao Wen's hand, with an apologetic expression on his face, I haven't completely escaped from the state just now. Fine. Tian Xiao Wen's heart warmed and replied softly. Okay. Let's go, don't stay here to chat. Mark joked with a smile, Xiao Chen saw this and hurriedly followed Mark to the campsite. After about a few minutes, the four returned to the campsite. The firewood was piled up to form a bonfire. Grandpa Marco went to the station wagon to get something, and the three of Xiao Chen sat around the bonfire. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiao Wen both looked curiously at the high-tech watch, Omnitrix, on Xiao Chen's wrist. It's this watch. When I flip the screen, as long as I press it, I can turn into an alien. Xiao Chen introduced enthusiastically, this was his childhood dream, and today, the dream has come true real. He really owns the Omnitrix. As he spoke, he turned on Omnitrix and began to rotate the screen little by little, and the alien images on the screen were constantly switching. Could it be that these aliens can be transformed? Tian Xiao Wen approached and asked curiously. Well, at present I can transform into 10 different alien heroes. The first alien hero, the one covered in fire, is called Fireman. When Xiao Chen switched to the 10th alien, he switched again it's the Flame Man. It's so cool. It would be great if you could lend me to play. Tian Xiaoban's face was full of envy. Dude, if it was you, would you be able to deal with so many robots? Tian Xiaowen habitually teased Tian Xiaoban again, but his words did not conceal his admiration for Xiao Chen. It's like a little girl admiring a boy she likes. Xiao Chen, just now, thank you for helping me. Then, Tian Xiaowen was full of thanks again, thanked him generously, and felt a different kind of feeling towards Xiao Chen in his heart. It's okay. Xiao Chen smiled again, very friendly. Xiao Chen looks much more handsome than those naive boys in our class. Tian Xiao Wen thought from the bottom of his heart, with a shy look on his face. Compared with those boys of the same age who are proud of bullying girls, Xiao Chen, who has a calm personality, is a boy she has never met before. At this time, Mark came over with a plate in his hand, with a mysterious expression on his face, you must be hungry after running all the way. Eat something to replenish your strength. This is a good thing. The three of Xiao Chen were indeed hungry, and their eyes fell on the plate in unison. In an instant, both Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban's faces turned green. On the plate, it is actually thin and long, full of protein. Rao is Xiao Chen who is much more mature, and his back is also a little cold. Guru, swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Master, Grandpa, are you sure you want to eat this tonight? This is a very nutritious delicacy. Marco smiled kindly, your age is a good time to supplement protein. However, in Xiao Chen's eyes, this, kind, smile was like a devil's smile. Grandpa, do we have anything like sandwiches, hamburgers, etc? Xiao Chen asked again in fear. 
Don't be stupid, how can those things have such high nutritional value? Ma Kay said amiably, By the way, there is still a little beef tongue in the refrigerator. I'll go get it for you. While he was leaving, Tian Xiaoban immediately lowered his voice, What did you bring to eat? I brought some leftover potato chips. I have a bag of chocolate hazelnuts half left. Tian Xiao Wen said listlessly, and his hopeful eyes finally fell on Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen clenched his fists and looked at the plate of worms with difficulty. I have a suggestion, beef tongue will definitely taste better than this worm. You eat beef tongue, I eat. This. Really? Tian Xiaoban looked at the plate of worms and shivered. Here comes the ox tongue. As Xiao Chen said, Mark brought a plate of beef tongue, which was cooked food with seasoning. It looked quite appetizing on the table. Next moment, the eyes of Mark, Tian Xiao Wen, and Tian Xiaoban all seemed to fall on Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen took a deep breath, stretched out his right hand, grabbed a part of the protein, and threw it into his mouth with his eyes closed. Click. It's so crunchy. And it doesn't taste bad. What shocked Xiao Chen the most was that after he ate this protein into his stomach, his body actually felt a little bit more comfortable. He opened his eyes and looked at Mark in disbelief. Haha, as I said, this is the best food for you. Mark smiled as expected. Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiaoban were shocked, especially Tian Xiaoban, who immediately admired Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen is just like Lord Bay of variety shows, worms dare to eat them. You guys should also start eating. After Xiao Chen's psychological bottom line was broken, he no longer rejected protein so much, and continued to eat slowly. Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiaoban also picked up the beef tongue and found that the taste was unexpectedly good. Eating and eating, the topic of the three naturally fell on the magical Omnitrix. This watch seemed to be green before, but now it's red. Tian Xiao Wen, who was careful, noticed a difference. Let me try. Xiao Chen pretended to be confused, and after a while of fiddling, it seems that this watch cannot be transformed in the red state, but it can be transformed into an alien hero when it is in the green state. Exactly. The Omnitrix in his hand made a unique startup sound, and the light suddenly turned green. Hey, you can transform. Xiao Chen turned the Omnitrix novally, watching the alien heroes, resisting the urge to become an alien hero. Would you like to keep a look at the individual aliens? Tian Xiaoban suggested excitedly. Forget it. Who knows if those aliens will come again. The aliens on this watch are used to deal with those monsters. Xiao Chen explained to Tian Xiaoban very seriously, and put down his wrist. Mark saw this scene and nodded secretly. Xiao Chen is the best candidate for Omnitrix. Xiao Chen is right, and this watch can do a lot of meaningful things. Tian Xiaowen agreed deeply and nodded. It seems that the words of a few people played a role. There was a panicked sound from the old car's radio station. Help, who will help us? We are in the campsite in the northwest corner of the forest, here, there are big robots attacking us. Boom, there was a deafening sound in addition to the sound. This must be the robots from earlier, here again. Mark reacted immediately and looked at the Omnitrix in Xiao Chen's hand. Xiao Chen's eyes were very firm, and he said loudly, these robots must be coming at me, Grandpa, please drive us over there. I will deal with them myself. Okay, let's get in the car. Mark was never vague at the critical moment, quickly got into the old car, got into the driver's seat, and fastened his seat belt. After Xiao Chen waited for Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen to come in, he closed the car door and kept his eyes fixed on the car window. Be careful, I'm driving. Mark stepped on the accelerator slightly, and the old broken car opened almost all the speed, shuttled through the woods extremely fast, and drove towards the accident spot. It can be seen that although the old broken car looks a few years old, it is fast and stable when driving a fast car. At least Xiao Chen doesn't feel like a woman in the car. The old broken car is getting closer and closer to the destination. Xiao Chen could also see the fire from the distance and the increasingly louder cry for help from the window. The old broken car quickly arrived at the campsite and braked the car nearby. The campsite outside the window was already riddled with holes, several tents were set up on fire, and there were tourists escaping everywhere and calling for help. Xiao Chen jumped down without hesitation and pushed open the car door. Xiao Chen, be careful. Mark urged, looking at Xiao Chen who was about to leave, with a trace of concern in his eyes. 
Understood, Grandpa, be careful too. Xiao Chen looked back at Mark and said with a smile. He walked to the open space outside, raised the Omnitrix on his wrist, and pressed it against the flame man pattern on it. Green light flashed on his body. What appeared in the open space was not the previous flame man, but a tall and burly, diamond man, whose body structure was a diamond crystal, shaped like a human, and tall and burly. Hey, Xiao Chen, why haven't you become the guy who was on fire before? Mark got out of the car and looked at Xiao Chen in confusion. The diamond god of war raised his right arm speechlessly, and his mirror-like right arm reflected his face. This, it should be some kind of bug in this watch. Let's just call it a small broken watch. Cool, the second alien hero. Does it have a name? Tian Xiaoban felt different, and asked excitedly. The previous one was called the Flame Man, now this. Let's call it the Diamond God of War. The Diamond God of War's eyes were as sharp as knives, and he no longer struggled with the problem of transformation, but strode toward a fleeing tourist in front of him. Behind the tourist is a mechanical creature suspended in the air like a disc. Help, help, the tourist shouted while running away, his eyes suddenly noticed the tall man running towards him, no, it was a strange creature. Why did another alien come to arrest me? The tourist collapsed suddenly, and was so frightened that he half kneeled on the ground, holding his head in his hands, shivering. Who knows? The diamond god of war just glanced at him lightly, then stepped over to face the disc robot. Find the target, find the target. The red scanner of the disc robot was aimed at the diamond god of war, and the alarm sounded suddenly, and the transmitter installed on the body was aimed at the body of the diamond god of war. Call out. Its launcher released a red light with amazing power. Boom. The red light instantly hit the body of the diamond god of war, causing a terrifying explosion, and the smoke immediately spread out, covering the body of the diamond god of war. Destroy the target. The disc robot made a cold and relentless mechanical sound. You mean, destroyed me. Next moment, the diamond god of war came out of the smoke unscathed, and with a hint of irony in his tone, he walked towards the disc robot. Boom, boom, the disc robot launched a violent attack again, and the rays of light hit the body of the diamond god of war again and again. But no matter how many violent explosions, the progress of the diamond god of war has not been changed in the slightest, and the diamond body ignored the attack of the light and walked straight up terrifying defense this this alien seems to be here to save me the tourist who was squatting on the ground then reacted and stared at the diamond god of war in a stunned manner just now you hit me so many times is it my turn to fight back just one hit don't run when the diamond god of war approached the disc robot the latter just wanted to step back to distance himself but he immediately stretched out his left hand and grabbed a corner of the disc robot the left arm is slightly bent, and the powerful force forcibly drags the disc robot to the front. The five fingers of his right hand were close together, and the entire hand turned into a large diamond knife, releasing bursts of chills, reflecting the chilling light in his eyes. Call out. The right blade of the diamond god of war is like a blue-blue lightning bolt, passing over the entire body of the disc robot. Click. The red light on the disc robot scanner dimmed instantly, the four tentacles fell softly, the body was divided into two, and fell to the sides. And the ground directly in front of the diamond god of war also appeared a crack, along the crack of more than 10 meters. Fix 1. The diamond god of war calmly retracted his right knife, and his eyes fell on the other robots. Not surprisingly, a large robot was vandalizing in the campsite. In addition to it, there were several disc robots floating in the sky around it, and they were also releasing weak light everywhere. Just now Diamond Ares is just one of the solutions. I never thought that Mojath would be so crazy. Ding. Check in object detected, large robot. Get the attention of it and all the robots around, and you're done. Suddenly, the sound of the system's prompt made the Diamond God of War look overjoyed and overjoyed. This. Mohas actually gave him another sign in reward. This is specially for sending experience packs. One to many. I don't care. The diamond god of war clenched his fist in his right hand and turned from a knife shape into a muzzle. Shu 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 instantly released several rounds of diamond shuriken, stabbing at the robots. The armor on the right shoulder of the large robot was directly penetrated through a hole, making a zizi electric sound. 
The other disc robots were slightly more agile, narrowly avoiding the diamond shuriken. Find the target. Find the target. All robots, stop attacking humans, invariably look towards the diamond god of war. Kill him for me. Mojath gave the order frantically. And the tourists who successfully escaped also hid in the distance, looking at the diamond god of war facing many robots in amazement. This heroic alien, helped them lure away the robots. The diamond god of war successfully attracted the attention of all robots. At the same time, he also completed the sign-in task and received his own reward. Ding! Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get green rewards, from Pedro Chapin Planet, the fighting skill of Pedro Chapin Star Warriors. Another memory came into the mind of the Diamond God of War. He immediately accepted several years of hard training, and kept all the fighter skills of Pedro shaping in his heart. In an instant, he became a qualified warrior, no less than the original Diamond Diamond, even better. Although this green reward is not as good as the blue reward, it can also allow him to quickly grasp the powerful power of an alien. Mohas in the distance ordered, don't give this human being in a daze, kill him while he is in a daze. It has a hint of contempt in its heart. This human child is really stupid. It was so powerful that he transformed into a Pyronai star, but this time he dared to transform into a Pedro shaping star. Shish. Two disc robots and a large robot, aiming at the, daze, diamond god of war at the same time, released a layer of red light waves that were stronger than one layer, and the momentum was huge. Xiao Chen, be careful. Mark was helping to evacuate the crowd, and when he saw this scene, he couldn't help but sweat. Xiao Chen, can you handle so many robots? Boom. The diamond god of war clenched his fists with both hands and slammed the ground in front of him. The ground cracked in an instant, and a diamond like a city wall grew, blocking him. It is two meters long, wide and high, like a pagoda. Bang bang bang. The red light fell on the diamond wall and even the skin did not explode, but only stirred up a burst of smoke. The ability that only Pedro shaping star warriors have, can freely create diamonds in the air. Mohas is a cosmic powerhouse, he has a lot of knowledge, and immediately recognized the tricks of the diamond god of war, his expression was extremely shocked. Generally speaking, the ability of Pedro shapens is physical strength, and only warriors have the ability to create a large number of crystals from space and manipulate them freely. Could it be that, this human child has also figured out the tricks of this alien? Bang bang bang. After several rays of light in a row, it was unable to blast the incomparably thick diamond city wall. But, the diamond god of war is not jealous, after all, it is the god of war, how can he be beaten? He jumped on the spot, jumped to the diamond city wall, stepped straight out, and stepped on the suspended place. Call out. The diamond city wall actually grew diamonds forming a diamond ladder, supporting the steps of the diamond god of war and preventing him from jumping from the void. He rushed all the way to a disc robot, and the diamond followed quickly, forming a magnificent and indestructible diamond ladder in the air. The disc robot still wanted to dodge. Call out. The diamond god of war directly raised his right hand and turned it into a muzzle. With a single shot of the diamond shuriken, the disc robot's engine malfunctioned, and electric sparks flickered all over his body. He approached quickly, his left arm formed a diamond hammer, and with a, bang, he smashed the disc robot into pieces cleanly. A gorgeous explosion formed in the air. This alien, well, so powerful. God, those robots are not his opponents. A group of tourists are all dumbfounded. If this is the era of mobile internet, the Diamond God of War score will be on the live broadcast headlines in minutes. In the smoke of the explosion, the Diamond God of War slowly retracted the heavy hammer, and looked at the other disc robot with cold eyes, as if speaking to the mastermind behind the scenes. Don't get me wrong, I can smash these little toys with my ranged attacks, but I like the feeling of smashing them into pieces with a hammer. Toy. This calm voice does not have any sense of irony or provocation, on the contrary, it seems to be expounding a fact. In his eyes, this is a toy. Mojath's face turned green with anger. Call out. The remaining disc robot rushed over, directly using the superalloy body, and slammed into the back of the diamond god of war, just to catch him by surprise. But, the burly and tenacious body of the diamond god of war just swayed and stopped. 
and the body of the disc robot was also shaky, as if it was about to fall apart. I'm in such a hurry to die. Then I'll do it for you. The diamond god of war turned around slightly, his arms turned into icy blades together, forming a star-like bright blue light in this dark night sky. I can't see the speed of his swing at all. Wait until all viewers react. The diamond god of war slowly retracted the two diamond knives. The disc robot's body was torn apart in an instant, and fell to the ground in pieces, producing a series of explosions with a, bang, bang, bang. Now, that's all that's left. The diamond god of war faced the remaining large robots, his eyes were as calm as water, and he did not regard the other party as a threat at all. And Moha still held the last glimmer of hope. The combat power of large robots is not comparable to those of flying insects. Call out. The diamond god of war on the diamond steps made a beautiful dive and landed on the ground. Then, his entire body speed was fully opened, and at a speed of 1 second and 20 meters, he suddenly swept across the legs of the large robot. Wait for him to stop. Hands have become diamond knives. And between the legs of the large robot, green lightning burst out. Boom. All its lower legs fell to the ground, and its body also fell heavily to the ground, becoming a lamb that was slaughtered. It's time to solve you. The diamond god of war nestled his hands together, instantly forming a honeycomb-like muzzle, which was loaded with countless diamond shuriken. This is the last scene from the large robot. Shish. The beehive muzzle of the diamond god of war began to rotate continuously, releasing the diamond shuriken like a hail of bullets, directly hitting the shoulders, eyes, chest, and four corners of the large robot. In an instant, the important joints up and down the large robot's body were all penetrated by the diamond shuriken, the sound of electric current was everywhere, and it was beaten into a hornet's nest. It raised its alloy right arm, but the joints on the arm, the wrist guard, and the solid diamond shuriken were all fastened to it. When it was raised a little, it immediately made a sound of electric current, and then the entire arm was abolished, fell off him. It's useless, all the parts of your body that can attack people have been removed by me. The honeycomb-shaped arm of the diamond god of war turned into a fist again. He raised his fists and walked slowly towards the large robot. I said, I like to use my fists to destroy enemies. When he came to the big robot. Boom. Boom. One punch, another punch. Like a battle-hardened, invincible warrior. Break that giant robot's legs with fists. And the rest of its upper body was abruptly ripped apart by the diamond god of war, and countless mechanical parts fell to the ground. At last, the rest of the mechanical head fell to the ground, and the scanner was completely dimmed. The diamond god of war unceremoniously raised the soles of his feet, and with one foot, crushed the mechanical head directly into pieces. Boom. It was not until the remaining parts exploded together and completely turned into ashes that the diamond god of war evacuated the campsite. Is that big man just now, the last enemy? The diamond god of war looked at the tourists in all directions with steady eyes, and asked with a strong voice. Quote dot 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 quote. Amazing. Alien hero, can you sign me? Thank you for saving us. In the crowd, after a short silence, there was a sudden burst of enthusiastic cheers. Everyone seemed to be looking at idols, watching the diamond god of war. That domineering look is exactly the same as the Marvel heroes in the movie. Ding ding ding. Just as the diamond god of war was about to leave, the omnitrix pattern on his body began to flicker. Call out. The whole person jumped several meters high, four or five meters away, jumped out of people's sight and fell into the forest. Although the power and speed of the diamond god of war is obviously not as good as that of the four-handed overlord, compared to humans, it is still equivalent to the monster level. He's in the forest. Let's go and see. Yeah, I also want to take a photo as a souvenir. There were also a few daring people who looked at the forest, wanting to go in and find out. Mark slowly stopped in front of a few people, with a gentle smile on his face, he sent out a soul torture, your campsite is still on fire, friends, do you need help? No, our luggage will be burned. Fight the fire. As soon as the words fell, the tourists focused their attention on their respective campsites. Sure enough, the campsite caught fire, and the group rushed to the campsite in a hurry. Grandpa, thank you for your cover. Xiao Chen just walked out of the woods behind, with a look of rejoicing, if you hadn't helped me draw attention, my true identity would have been exposed. 
Next time, be sure to pay attention, Xiao Chen. Mark's expression was slightly serious, and he specifically told Xiao Chen. Well, I see, Grandpa. Xiao Chen could feel Mark's seriousness and answered seriously. Mark is very relieved, because he doesn't need to reason too much, this mature grandson will know very well what the consequences of revealing his identity are. Even a highly anticipated hero cannot reveal his identity. Diamond God of War, it's really cool. Do you want to change into something else to see if you go back to the old broken car? Tian Xiaoban came over excitedly, his face full of anticipation. Don't worry, when this little broken watch turns green, I will transform. I hope you will also help me keep a secret. Xiao Chen said teasingly. Don't worry about me, let's see if this idiot will talk nonsense. Tian Xiaowen was used to scolding Tian Xiaoban again. Tian Xiaoban turned his head to the side, as if in a fit of anger, Che, whoever speaks out is the idiot. Besides, I don't want to tell others about such a fun thing. I believe in Xiaoban. Xiao Chen patted Tian Xiaoban's shoulder with a serious look on his face. He believed in Tian Xiaoban's character. This moved Tian Xiaoban quite a bit. He was lonely at school, and for the first time he could be trusted by a peer. Don't worry, I won't say anything. Tian Xiaoban said with a firm face, his eyes full of persistence. The dazzling moonlight reflected on the two of them, as if to confirm their friendship. Time, it's getting late. Let's go, it's time for bed. Mark yawned and said sleepily. The four of them walked into the old broken car one by one, closed the door, turned off the lights, rested on the spot, and went to the city tomorrow. Dot dot dot. On the spaceship. But it was quite wonderful. The terrifying pressure of Mohas spread to the entire hall, oppressing all the robots with some fear, even if it was only a half-crippled body, they instinctively felt fear. Lord Mohas, do you still need to send robots? And one of Moha's cronies dared to ask cautiously. You don't have to send it anymore. If you send it again, you will die. Mojus' expression was ugly, but he had to admit that Xiao Chen, a transformative person, was powerful. Give me a wanted notice, find some powerful mercenaries, and join forces to kill this human. His pursuit has not stopped yet, this is just the beginning. The next day, when the sky was bright, Mark got up. After washing up, he drove his old shabby car towards the nearest big city. Others are still in dreamland. Intel about to enter the city. Xiao Chen was the first to wake up from the bed, and subconsciously touched the Omnitrix on his right wrist with his left hand, a very real feeling. He sat up, wiped his slightly squinted eyes with his fingers, and after getting used to the light, he climbed down from the bed. Because there are three people, the three-person bed is a bunk bed. Xiao Chen sleeps on the third floor and inevitably climbs up and down. Grandpa, good morning. Xiao Chen nodded to Mark, walked to the bathroom, washed his face, brushed his teeth, put on a clean coat, and started swinging the Omnitrix again when he sat down. Even after he got it for a whole day, he was still very curious about this watch. Xiao Chen, there is breakfast in the refrigerator. Let's have some breakfast first and then look at it. Mark said with concern. Well, I see, Grandpa. Xiao Chen took out a few slices of bread from the refrigerator and reheated it from the toaster, twisting the Omnitrix while eating the bread. If he can transform into a super giant, or ex-Superman, then he will be invincible in the world. The system can strengthen my alien hero, and it should also strengthen the small broken table. Maybe, it can make the small broken table awaken the ultimate mutation in advance, or get a new alien hero. For Xiao Chen, Omnitrix is not the biggest problem, the biggest problem is the system. Xiao Chen, fasten your seat belt. At this moment, Mark, who had been concentrating on driving, suddenly reminded Xiao Chen somewhat solemnly. Xiao Chen came to his senses, put down his wrist and empty plate, and quickly fastened his seat belt. Sure enough, the old broken car began to sway from side to side, as if it was constantly avoiding the vehicles ahead. Through the window, Xiao Chen saw the big truck whizzing past the old broken car. There seemed to be several robbers in black masks on the truck, holding some kind of rifle, and glared at Xiao Chen fiercely. These people, robbers. Xiao Chen's face immediately pressed against the cold glass, and his eyes could not wait to pass through the window to see the situation ahead. Not far away, 
An apartment building is in a state of fire, and the people inside are still calling for help. Layers of people gather around, some of them are fighting the fire with buckets, some are contacting firefighters, but they are too late to rescue the people inside. People. A group of robbers rushed into the residential building and stole the money from the citizens. In order to cover their escape, they set the fire and left. Xiao Chen immediately figured out the cause and result of the whole thing. If there is no accident, the people inside will be burned to death. But, he was the accident. Grandfather. Xiao Chen looked at Mark without hesitation, and Mark had already prepared to stop the car, and stop the car in a hidden place. Xiao Chen, are you here? Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban also woke up from their sleep, and Tian Xiao Wen looked at Xiao Chen curiously. There's a fire outside, I'm going to save people, you guys be careful. Xiao Chen hurried to the car door and said to the others with a serious look. After he finished speaking, he pushed open the car door and was about to go out. Wait, Xiao Chen. Mark stopped him again, turned around, and his face was full of concern. No matter what alien you become, Grandpa just wants to say something to you. Be safe and don't reveal your identity. There was a trace of warmth in Xiao Chen's heart. No matter when he was, he would always be grandfather's grandson, even if he turned into an alien hero. Got it, Grandpa. Xiao Chen nodded heavily, walked out of the car door, and quickly came to the alley. After confirming that no one was around, he pressed the Omnitrix screen, and the screen popped up instantly. Boom. With a tap of him, a dazzling fire flickered out. The flame man appeared in the alley, and the light from the flames on his body dispelled the darkness of the entire alley. Boom. Two pillars of fire emerged from the soles of his feet, and the whole person took off in place, as if dragging a long tail of fire, flying into the air and flying towards the burning house. And the people around me. Found out quickly. A figure like red lightning pierced the sky, passed over his head, and came to the front of the burning house. Then, first controlled the surrounding flames. The moment the flame man fell to the ground, his arms turned slightly, and countless flames were released. The hot flames formed a prairie on the ground, and immediately surrounded the entire house on fire. The flame of the original fire was just isolated by the high temperature flame of the flame man and would not spread out. Help, help, time is running out. After the flame man rescued everyone in just two minutes, he quickly came to the roof again. He came to the top of the building, his palms began to be restrained, and the flames surrounding the burning building also began to hit inward, swallowing the fires one by one. The people who escaped began to explain their peculiar experiences inside, and the firefighters couldn't believe their words, after all, it was too outrageous. How can there be a person in this world who is on fire? Fireman. Are the firemen here too? The flame man leaned over and saw the fire truck and firefighters below, his face relaxed a little, I shouldn't need me here, then. I'll go catch those gangsters. The flame man faced forward, and a pillar of fire emerged from the soles of his feet again, and the flames on his body also burned, rushing towards the distance like a meteor. What is that? There's really a guy who's on fire. When everyone noticed the change in the sky, the flame man had already flown to the place where everyone could not see it, and they were all dumbfounded. Saw aliens. This world is really like Gotham City, and it's all Gotham City. There have been many robberies since I was a child. Now there are more aliens. The flame man flew in the direction where the robbers escaped, thinking silently. His flying speed is definitely not as fast as Glider King Kong, but it is faster than the robber's car, and soon he saw the big truck that was rushing forward on the viaduct. The two robbers were in the driver's seat, and the two robbers were boldly hanging outside the car door, with seat belts tied on their bodies and rifles in their hands. Ding. Signable object detected. Robbers who robbed civilians and set fire. Defeat them and sign in. Then, let's start. Law enforcement. After hearing the sound of the system, the flame man was slightly excited, raised a finger and aimed at the tire of the big truck. Musket. Boom. His fingers bounced for a while, and a flame condensed. The bullet-shaped fireball, with a tongue of flame, instantly penetrated a tire of the large truck, and directly blasted the ground, leaving a small pit. Bang bang bang. The flame man kept flicking his fingers again, and instantly pierced the other three tires together. No, not good. Stop the car. What happened just now? Did it go over the nail? 
Before the four robbers on the car could figure out the situation, the big truck began to shake, so scared that they hurriedly released the accelerator and slowly stepped on the brakes. And because of inertia, it slid out a hundred meters before the car was able to stop and stayed on the side of the road. Bang bang bang. The four robbers were aggressive, jumped out of the big truck with rifles, came to the side of the road, and looked around angrily. Who, who broke our tire just now? If you have the ability, stand up, don't dare to do it. They thought in their hearts that they must teach that nosy boy a good lesson. Boom. Result. A red body fell to the ground in front of them. It's an alien on fire. It's me, what's wrong? The flame man tilted his head slightly, looking very curious. This, what is this? The four robbers were stunned for a moment, their fingers were on the trigger, and they all forgot to shoot, looking at the flame man looking amazing. No matter what he is. Whoever blocks us will have a dead end. The most daring robber gritted his teeth and pulled the trigger. Bang bang bang. There were bursts of flames from the muzzle. A burst of lightning-like bullets poured out. Firearm. The flame man's fingers quickly released a musket with an amazing temperature. When the musket touched the bullet, the metal bullet was melted in an instant. Bang bang bang. Then, bursts of explosions sounded from the ground under the feet of the four robbers, and countless potholes were blown up. That hot feeling was only a little distance away from them. If it hits you, it's even more painful. I didn't hit it on purpose, but if you don't surrender obediently, don't blame me for being rude. The flame man's voice was extremely cold, contrary to the temperature of the high temperature flame. Let these four robbers tremble. This alien has this strength. Really do it too. Bang bang bang. Rifles were thrown to the ground one by one. The four robbers bowed their heads and fell to their knees, fully surrendering. Okay, it's over. The flame man walked to the four of them, raised the soles of his feet, and stepped on all the rifles with one foot. The flames on the soles of his feet even ignited the rifles and burned them to ashes. Completely shattered the hopes of the four. Then, he took off in place, turned into a red meteor, and flew towards Grandpa. Only. Beep beep beep. The flame man in the air suddenly heard that the Omnitrix voice on his chest was constantly reminding him. Obviously, in only three or four seconds, he was about to change back. But he is still in the sky. The flame man screamed badly. At the same time, ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. The sound of the system is like the sound of heaven. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the white reward. Omnitrix's transformation time lasts 10 seconds previously 5 minutes. It seems to be the most common white reward, but to Xiao Chen, this is not a small reward, and it can continue the Omnitrix's transformation time abruptly. Very good. The flashing Omnitrix pattern on the flame man's chest suddenly dimmed, and he was relieved for the rest of his life, and in just a few seconds, he speeded up and came to a nearby alley. Biu Biu. A burst of light flickered, the green light of Omnitrix. Xiao Chen walked out of the alley with a look of rejoicing, and looked at the red Omnitrix on his wrist. Next time, pay more attention. If you suddenly cancel the transformation in the air, you will be dead. Ding, host, you can view information about Omnitrix. Related information. Xiao Chen was a little puzzled, and as soon as he finished speaking, a spreadsheet appeared in his eyes. Host. Xiao Feng. Age. 12. Omnitrix. Transformation time is 5 minutes and 10 seconds, same cooling time, the ultimate mutation is not awakened, and all alien data is not loaded. Alien heroes. Flame man, fire fist aces, fire control ability, four-handed overlord, diamond god of war combat skills, big steel tooth, super beast, little raiders, ghost shadow, glider, shapeshifter, flash star. His message was laid out clearly. This function is quite good. Xiao Chen praised it, but how should he close it? As soon as this idea came out, the spreadsheet in front of him was immediately closed, and it was changed according to his thoughts, which was very convenient. Xiao Chen, are you alright? Because Mark was worried about Xiao Chen, he followed into the alley and asked. It's okay, let's go. Xiao Chen followed Mark back to the old broken car. Above the car, the news host was still broadcasting the scene of the four robbers, talking nonsense, on the TV, and there was a small line of words below, which seemed to be broadcasting some irrelevant news, a citizen suspected of seeing a huge creature. Xiao Chen, when you were at the scene, 
How did you deal with those robbers? Did you use that? Tian Xiaoban raised his fist and scratched his hair, not expecting that trick. Fire punch. Xiao Chen said with tears in his eyes. Yes, fire fist. Tian Xiaoban said eagerly. That's not true. I can't use this kind of tricks against ordinary humans. I'm still quite restrained. Xiao Chen smiled and spoke softly. He is not the kind of person who abuses lynching. He turned around and looked at Mark. Grandpa, where are we going now? Go to the largest supermarket nearby, we need to buy some daily necessities. Mark replied comfortably. Very good. Tian Xiaoban couldn't help cheering softly, lowered his head and asked, Xiao Chen, Xiao Wen, how much pocket money did you bring? Let's buy more food and put it in the car, so we don't have to eat grandpa's weird stuff. I only have a few dollars. Tian Xiao Wen said helplessly. Actually, I think, it's okay if you're used to it. Xiao Chen tried his best to keep his expression natural and whispered. Sure enough, the two of them looked at Xiao Chen as if they were weird people. But don't worry, I will use some of the money I saved to buy things. Xiao Chen quickly explained. Five minutes later, the old broken car was parked in the parking space next to the entrance of the supermarket. In front of several people, it was a medium-sized supermarket, which can be said to have everything. The four got out of the car one by one and walked into the supermarket. As soon as he walked to the door, Mark said to Xiao Chen with confidence, Xiao Chen, I'll go buy some food over there, and you and Xiao Ban Xiao Wen will go shopping elsewhere. Okay, Grandpa. Watching Mark push the shopping cart away, Xiao Chen looked at the area where Grandpa was going, his body twitched slightly, and his eyelids twitched. Did Grandpa go to the fresh food area to buy food? Tian Xiao Wen was still innocent. No, that's the pet area, Xiao Chen said stiffly. What? This made Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiao Wen utter panic sounds invariably. Soon, the three of them came to the snack area. There were potato chips, potato chips, chocolate hazelnuts and other foods in the shopping cart. Anyway, they bought all they could afford. When passing the potato chips co-branded with the furious sumo card, Tian Xiaoban couldn't walk, so please look at Xiao Chen. Well, Xiao Chen, can you transform into an alien hero, help me find it card. I really want it. It can be. When Xiao Chen's palm landed on Omnitrix, he suddenly remembered the news he saw this morning. Citizens seem to have seen huge creatures. This supermarket. He looked around. Looks like someone will attack this next. Although it has been more than 10 years since he traveled, he still vaguely remembers some plots. Dot dot dot. Supermarket is not far. A weirdo wearing a helmet with horns, who was sitting on a huge frog like a hill, was attacking this way. I will show you the great invention of my Dr. Dong Wu. Xiao Ban, I may not be able to change now, because I always have a bad feeling. Xiao Chen said apologetically to Tian Xiaoban. Okay. The disappointment on Tian Xiaoban's face was visible to the naked eye, and he quickly picked up another package of co-branded potato chips. Otherwise, buy a bag of potato chips and see if you can get a violent sumo card. Among the three people's pocket money, Xiao Chen has the most pocket money, so of course Xiao Chen has to ask. After all, this joint custom potato chip is more expensive than ordinary potato chips. This little wish can be fulfilled for you. Xiao Chen reluctantly agreed, which made Tian Xiaoban excited, carefully selected a package of co-branded potato chips and put them in the shopping cart. I bought so many things, it should be enough, let's go. Tian Xiao Wen looked at the full shopping cart and said. Good. Xiao Chen looked up at the cashier in front of him, pushed a heavy shopping cart, and walked slowly to the cashier. The cashier kept picking up snacks, scanning codes, and making quotations. There are more things, and they have been scanning. The checkout process is boring. Then, what is that? Why is there a big frog? Tian Xiaowen and Tian Xiaoban, who were at the side, pointed out the window and shouted in surprise. Big frog. Xiao Chen responded and looked at it, and when he took a closer look, he saw a huge frog that was constantly jumping from a distance. The frog was green all over, like a moving mountain, jumping and jumping, the ground swayed, like a monster running out of a movie. And sitting on top of this big frog is a hobo-like weirdo with a yellow face, thin muscles, messy hair, and a horned helmet on his head. Dr. Dong Wu. Looking at the getting closer and closer to the big frog and Dr. Dong Wu, 
Xiao Chen felt a hint of threat and shouted, he wants to directly crash the wall and come in, everyone, run. In an instant, the cashiers at the checkout counters and the shoppers all put down their belongings and ran away in the opposite direction, reminding others as they ran away. Let's go too, there are so many people here, it's not easy for me to transform. Xiao Chen looked at Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban solemnly again, and after a special exhortation, he habitually took Tian Xiao Wen's little hand and led her to the side. Tian Xiao Ban is a boy, so his speed is naturally not slow, he can follow behind the two of them. The three of them had just escaped some distance and came to the previous food area. Just listen. Boom. The previous window, including the entire wall, was smashed open by the body of the giant frog, directly crushing the cashier counter and the floor. Now, I need to find the electronic components I want. Dr. Dongwu looked at the shelves around him and directed the big frog under him, go to the electronic area. Stop, stop, don't mess around. If you run again, we'll, shoot. A few tall security guards are very dedicated. When they heard that there was a big frog, they immediately became happy, and everyone came here talking and laughing. Then, all of them are submissive, whispering BB, and the pistols in their hands are unsteady. Ha ha ha, are you guys here to seek death? Dr. Dongwu was extremely arrogant. He ordered the big frog below, kill them all. The other side, Xiao Chen clicked on the Omnitrix's screen, bounced off the screen, twisted the screen, and passed over the alien heroes such as Flame Man, Diamond God of War, and Glider King Kong. In the end, it stayed on the four-handed king. Here, is the most suitable place for the four-handed king, he has enough power. Boom. Xiao Chen pressed the Omnitrix's screen with the palm of his hand and chose to transform into a four-handed overlord. There was a dazzling light on his body, and at the same time, it seemed that because of his sudden increase in size, the light also skyrocketed. The one who appeared in front of Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen was the four-handed tyrant. The four-handed overlord is as burly as a monster, with red skin, but wearing a white shirt, with four eyes and four arms, the skin as hard as armor has spikes, like fur armor. The power is infinite, and the defense is extremely strong. When he stood up completely, his head would even hit the ceiling from time to time, and his four arms could not be fully stretched, because it would directly lift the shelves on both sides. Dr. Dongwu also noticed the sudden light on the food area. He raised the red sunglasses on his face, with doubts on his face, what's the matter? This light just flashed away, and he didn't care much. Puff. The big frog spat out a large piece of saliva, which was actually a large block of mucus, and splashed towards several security guards. This time, bang bang bang, the floor of the supermarket began to vibrate a little, and the opposite seemed to be the same behemoth, no, even a more terrifying monster. What's running over here? Dr. Dongwu felt the vibration getting louder and louder, his expression changed, and he hurriedly got off the big frog. Next moment, the four-handed overlord rushed out from the corner, bent down slightly, and charged towards Dr. Dongwu with big strides. With each step he took, he could span several meters. Dr. Dongwu looked at the four-handed bully who was rushing and dumbfounded. He suspected that something was wrong with his eyes. What monster is this? Why does it look scarier than the monster I made? The four-handed overlord looked at the slime block flying towards the security guard, and immediately picked up a shriveled leather ball on the shelf with one hand and threw it gently towards the slime block. Boom. The shriveled ball was gently waved by the four-handed overlord with one hand. It was as ferocious as a cannonball, and instantly hit the mucus block spit out by the big frog, blowing it into pieces. What a powerful force. As a human being, Dr. Dongwu can't see the movements of the four-handed overlord, but he can still see the strength of that move to some extent. You guys, hurry up and don't stay here. The four-handed tyrant looked at the security guards majestically, his voice was as loud as thunder, but it scared the security guards away together. He didn't care either, his domineering eyes stared at the big frog and Dr. Dongwu beside him. What Dr. Dongwu wears on his head is actually a genetic variable device. There is also a rotatable gear-shaped device on his chest. The genetic device and the rotating device are connected by a cable. Being stared at by the four-handed bully. A cold sweat broke out on Dr. Dongwu's body, and a long-lost fear appeared in his heart. Bang bang bang. 
As the four-handed overlord walked slowly, the deterrent force brought by the huge body became stronger and stronger. Leave it to you first, hold him back, me, I'll come when I go. Dr. Dongwu was frightened. After hurriedly explaining a sentence or two to the big frog, he fled towards the electronic area. Ding. Check in detected. Frog with genetic variant. Stun the frog to complete the sign in. A sign in reminder appeared on the big frog. The four handed overlord glanced at Dr. Dongwu who was leaving. After weighing it, he still wanted to chase in the direction of Dr. Dongwu's departure, although the sign in reward is important. However, let's catch Dr. Dongwu first and let him go. It's better if he doesn't mess up again. The big frog jumped fiercely towards the four handed overlord without knowing his life or death, and hit him like a big truck. Since you're here, let's deal with you first. The four handed overlord stopped, his eyes fell on the big frog, his face was full of fierceness, and his four powerful arms were spread out, as if hugging the big frog. Even a big frog with a low IQ is very confident. With such a big body, this four eyed man dare not defend himself. Waiting to be knocked to pieces. Boom. When the big frog's body slammed into the chest of the four handed bully. Boom. The legs of the four handed bully just took a step back, and one foot directly smashed a footprint, and then the whole body stabilized. Those four eyes, flashing with cold light, looked down at the big frog condescendingly I'll be waiting for you, I'll throw myself into the net. On him, it was unscathed. This big frog was instantly terrified to the extreme. This is not a manifestation of high IQ, it is just a creature, instinctively afraid, fear of higher level creatures. It's just a vegetarian animal, a four-handed king, a carnivore. Boom. The four arms of the four-handed overlord landed on the fragile skin of the big frog and hugged it fiercely. It can be said to be extremely powerful. The big frog did not even have the strength to struggle, and was suppressed to such a degree that he could not even breathe. Boom. Then, the four-handed tyrant lifted the big frog above his head, and then slammed it forward, and he was quite controlling his own power. Even so, the moment the big frog fell to the ground, the floor was directly penetrated, and the whole body of the big frog was stuck in the pit, motionless. A pair of eyes completely turned into circle eyes, and he passed out directly. A hug, hit it to death on the spot. Resolve the first small animal. The four-handed overlord said lightly, in front of him, these mutant creatures of Dr. Dongwu are indeed small animals. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the white reward. The individual strength of the alien hero is strengthened, and the enhancement rate is 10%. Strengthen strength. Strengthen it to the four-handed overlord. The four-handed overlord made a choice without hesitation, Adding to other alien heroes is a bit unbalanced, it is better to directly add to the current state. In an instant, a stream of heat melted into his limbs and bones, instantly increasing his strength by a small amount. The four-handed overlord, who is already terrifying in strength, has become even more unfathomable. Even a 10% improvement is a leap. Huh, I feel like I can blow the entire surface with one punch. Dong Wu, wake up. The four-handed overlord took a deep breath and walked towards the electronic area. As for Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen, the two of them hid from a distance, watching the four-handed overlord show his might, with admiration on their faces. Their friend Xiao Chen is a hero. In the electronic area, when Dr. Dongwu got the parts he wanted, he also noticed that the big frog was missing. It's only for a minute, that muscle freak ruined my, masterpiece. Dr. Dongwu felt a bit of trouble. That guy is so tough, he's simply the strongest creature. Moreover, the vibration seemed to start to sound, and the four-handed man was walking towards this direction. I have to go to the pet area and summon a few helpers. Dr. Dongwu clenched the electronic components, and his eyes fell on the pet area in front. Exactly, Mark, over there too. When the four-handed overlord came to the electronic area, Dr. Dongwu was no longer here but there were still one or two staff members who were frightened by the four-handed overlord and sat on the ground, motionless. The four-handed overlord squeezed out a smile that he thought was kind. Then one of the staff was frightened and passed out. Okay, tell me, that Dr. Dong Wu, is that weird guy with a yellow face and thin skin, where did he run off to? He went to the pet area. The staff member raised his trembling fingers and pointed to the pet area not far away. 
Pet area, not good, grandpa. The four-handed overlord quickened his pace and rushed all the way to the pet area. As soon as he arrived at the entrance of the pet area, he was shocked by the sight in front of him. Grandpa Mark. He even scuffled back and forth on the ground with that fellow Dr. Dong Wu. Wrong. Mark can even press Dr. Dong Wu and keep warning. If you mess up again, I will be serious. You old man let me go. Can any lousy old man beat me now? Dr. Dong Wu was crushed by a pair of big hands and shouted angrily. Grandpa is really an old plumber. With this fighting power, he directly beat Dr. Dong Wu. The four-handed overlord muttered in shock. The world is getting worse, and an old man can beat me down. Dr. Dong Wu cursed in his heart, hurriedly put his hand on his chest, twisted the gear, the genetic variable on his head was flashing with electric lights. Call out. A burst of electric light waves was released and landed in a cage. Inside the cage, there was originally a golden bear with yellowish fur, honest and cute. Shrouded in electric light, the golden bear swelled up like a balloon, burst through the wire cage in an instant, and turned into a monster the size of a car. Its teeth have become as sharp as the tip of a knife, and its pea-like eyes are extremely scarlet, like the eyes of a poisonous snake. This is... Mark looked at the huge golden bear in front of him, his expression stunned. Step aside. Taking advantage of Mark's distraction, Dr. Dong Wu rolled and scrambled out of Mark's body and climbed to the side of the giant golden bear. At the same time, he also saw the four-handed bully standing behind him. Grandpa, I'm here, please let me go. The four-handed overlord came to Mark's side, staring at the huge golden bear in front of him, and said in a low voice. Good. Mark looked at the burly figure of the four-handed bully, and consciously took a dozen steps back, staying far away. Grandpa, does this monster have anything to do with that stinky old man? Dr. Dong Wu squinted his eyes, continued to manipulate the genetic variable device, and released another wave of light. Call out. The electric light wave fell directly on another black hamster. The black hamster has also swelled up in size. Like the giant golden bear, its black fur is as sharp as the tip of a needle, like a large hedgehog. 2. The four-handed overlord expression became slightly serious, his forearms spread out, and he stood up and lowered his head to face the two big hamsters. One monster can't deal with you, so it's safer to send two. Dr. Dong Wu commanded loudly with a smug look on his face, you two, give it to me. Remember, knock out this four-eyed freak. Bring it to me. He's going to experiment with four-handed bully. Knock me out. The four-handed overlord smiled noncommittally. Ding. Check in object detected. Golden bear that has received genetic variables. Subdue the golden bear hamster to complete the sign in. Ding. Check in object detected. Third line hamster that has received genetic variables. Stun the third line hamster to complete the sign in. But what the four-handed bully didn't expect was. This guy, Dr. Dong Wu, actually triggered two sign-in tasks for him again. This made him suddenly elated. Although it may be a white reward, but the strength enhancement, the continuous transformation of the market, these rewards are also very fragrant, really improve his combat effectiveness. This guy is about to die, so happy. Dr. Dong Wu suddenly became happy when he saw the four-handed overlord expression, and he was a little puzzled. Then. The four-handed overlord looked at Dr. Dong Wu and forced a smile, that, is your name Dong Wu. That's right, I'm Dr. Dong Wu, a scientist. Dr. Dong Wu was a little surprised that the big man would recognize him, and proudly admitted it. Can you do me a favor? A look of anticipation appeared in the eyes of the four-handed overlord. How? The corners of Dr. Dong Wu's mouth twitched, and the two giant hamsters were held still, with a mocking look on their faces. I understand what you mean, do you want to beg for mercy? It's too late to beg for mercy now, but you if you are willing to kneel down and beg for mercy, I can consider forgiving you. Looking at such a big man, he is actually a coward. First mock this four-handed idiot, and then turn him into his own slave. No, you misunderstood what I meant. What I mean is, can you get some more mutant animals out and beat me? These two are not enough. The four-handed overlord touched his head and said sincerely. The air froze for a while. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.